Where are you going? You ever ask somebody for directions? What do they ask you? Where are you going? Where are you headed? You know, I was walking and I've been walking every day, taking time to to get my body in motion, get my body in movement. And I noticed some interesting statues. These are really cool. I like this. We got like the bulls here. And it's modeled. This statue is modeled to look like it's going somewhere. You know, its, it's feet are kind of on the ground, but it's moving and it's heading in a direction of these other bulls here. All of them, they're going somewhere, right? Just like you, you're going somewhere. But the question may be, where are you going? And is it important to know where you're going? I mean, would it benefit you to know where you are going? This is my question to you. The question that I've been asking myself as I've been walking in and out of these bulls, seeing that each one of them is heading in a direction. Though they may not know quite where they are going, perhaps they can sense where they're going. Perhaps instinctually, they already know where they're heading in life. But do you? <laughs> do you know where you're going? Sometimes, to know where we're going, before we get started, we got to know where we are. You know, you type in that address in the GPS and you say, okay, this is where I'm going. But before you can go there, what does it ask you? What is your location? Where are you right now? So there was a quote that stuck out to me by Lao Tzu. And it said, just like these bulls here. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you are heading. Have you ever been heading somewhere in life? And you might have been stubborn. You might have not changed direction because you felt within yourself that you're going to get there. But you didn't really know where you were heading. You were just heading somewhere. I felt like that when I was in college. You know, I'd gone to college because it was just expected. It was just something that wasn't even left up to chance. It was just something that was instilled within me from the guidance that I received early on. And I just knew I was going to college. I knew I was going to get my bachelor's. And I knew I was going to get my degree and do this thing. But I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. I didn't even know what I was getting it for. I was just going. You know, just like all these bulls, I was just going, I was just heading in that direction, not really knowing what I would even do when I got there. And when I got there, since I didn't have a plan, since I didn't have a knowing where I was going, I ended up wandering. I ended up in a fruitless pursuit of nothing feeling as though I had gotten this degree, this piece of paper, I'd walked the stage, I'd graduated, the people had clapped their hands. But what now? I didn't know. And so for the next three years, I ended up at odd jobs. So many odd jobs everywhere after getting that piece of paper that certified me, that said that, oh, I have this qualification, I have this certification, I, I, now I understand these things, right? But what, would I, what did I do with that knowledge? What did I do with that paper? As I speak, that paper is sitting in the garage of my parents' house. But for the next three years, I went on to be a karaoke DJ. Right? At a, wing, at a wing stop. I went on to be a maze room operator, operating games for, for different patrons. I went on to be a zip line tour guide. I went on to be uh, an American Ninja Warrior kids instructor. I went on to be a poker dealer. I went on to be 
an overnight stalker at a grocery store. I went on to be a telemarketer for a real estate brokerage. I went on to be all these things. But where was I going? I didn't know where I was going. And it wasn't until I dropped all the concepts and all the thoughts of where I thought I was supposed to go that I ended up where I needed to be. You know, there's another quote, and it basically says that if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. There's a story of Alice in Wonderland, and Alice is walking down a road, and she comes to a fork in the road. And in the fork in the road, she looks up, and she sees that there's a tree. And in the tree, there's this sly Cheshire cat. And the Cheshire cat is smiling down on Alice as she's at that fork in the road. And she asked the cat, excuse me, which path should I take? And the cat thinks for a second and looks down at Alice and asks, well, where are you going? And Alice says, I don't know. And the cat kind of scratches its head with its paw and it says, well, I guess it doesn't really matter then. Because if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So this is my question to you, my friend. In life, ask yourself, you may not know how you'll get there. You may not know when you'll arrive, but at least know where you're going. Realize that we are all going somewhere. No one is ever just standing still like these statues. We're all in constant movement. The world is an ocean of motion. And we're either going closer or farther away from that goal, that dream, that ambition that you have within you. Someone once asked the philosopher Aristotle, how does one make it to Mount Olympus? Aristotle simply replied, by ensuring that each step you take is in the direction of Mount Olympus. So simple, right? How can you not get there? I mean, you see it, it's over yonder. It's right over there. You can see it visibly. We'll just start taking steps and move in that direction because at least you know where you're going. Thank you so much for listening, my friend. Much love to you. And I trust that you received an encouraging message from this story here. Share this with somebody who you think would gain value from this and ask yourself, where am I headed in life? I may not know how I'll get there. I may not know when I'll arrive, but where in the world am I going? Check out the Open Palm podcast up there in the bio for you, your listening pleasure and your inspiration. Much love. Stay blessed, less stressed, and allow the rest of your life and the breath of your life to be the best of your life. My friend, my goodness, much love to you. Yes, thank you for receiving. I appreciate you. And take care. We'll catch you again on the next episode. <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs>